it took um, a lot ment mentally and physically to just trust my gymnastics again and most importantly trust myself because I think that was the hardest part after Tokyo is I didn't trust myself to do gymnastics. It's really great that Simone eventually was able to trust herself again. It had probably been a painful and tedious process to be finally ready to compete again, so it's really great to see her enjoying her craft. More than trusting herself, though, it is equally important that she trusts the people she works and trains with. That includes her coach and newly appointed choreographer, Gregory Milan. As you all know, the 27-year-old American gymnast is on her quest for glory at the Paris Olympics 2024 after her mishap in Tokyo. So, as an attempt to refine her performance, Biles has turned to a strategic partnership with the Frenchman choreographer. Milan happens to be a friend of Simone Biles' coach, Landy. Since early May, Milan has been seen in training sessions with Landy's other trainees. Simply put, Simone Biles and her coaches, Cecile and Laurent Landy, are taking a different route this time as the gymnast returns to the Olympic stage after she suffered the twisties in her last Olympic competition. This time, the focus is primarily on Biles' mental health and being in tune with her body. She has been attending therapy weekly and is prioritizing maintaining a top-notch training routine. Um, just making sure I'm healthy mentally and physically, and I think at this point, mentally is just as important as I physically feel, so just making sure I go to my therapy sessions weekly. On the All Things Gymnastics podcast, Landy said that someone is really in tune with how she's feeling mentally and physically, speaking up about it. The renowned coach also said that the gymnast's therapy is an escape, and it's also what helps her continue what she's doing. If you've been following her progress since she made her comeback last year, her performances speak for themselves. In case you needed reminding, she won the national all-around title in the 2023 World Championships in Belgium after a two-year hiatus. Biles also performed a Yurchenko double pike vault, a feat never before done by a woman in competition. Since her comeback in the past year has been one of the most eventful occurrences in the sporting world, it did not come as a surprise when she received the Laureus World Comeback of Year Award in April. The announcement was made by Laureus Academy member Li Xiaopeng at the historic Palacio de Cibeles in the heart of Madrid. Just so you know, it is her fourth career Laureus World Sports Award and her first in the comeback category. Thank the Academy so much for this prestigious award. I am so honored. It is unbelievable every time I'm nominated for an award, so I can't thank you guys enough for recognizing the work that I do. It's been a dream come true. Since I Although she was previously nominated for Comeback of the Year in 2022, after she returned from the Twisties to earn Olympic balance beam bronze, it was British skateboarder Sky Brown who won that year. Still, Biles has won Sportswoman of the Year three times, second most in history behind Serena Williams. This year, in her season debut at the Core Hydration Classic in mid-May, Simone made sure to make a statement victory. The competition took place at the XL Center in Hartford, where Biles, coincidentally, first broke onto the scene in 2013 as the U.S. national champion in the all-around. Well, it's nothing if not symbolic. A decade or so may have passed, but the gymnast is still forging her path to greatness. And so, there, in her first gymnastics meet of 2024, Biles had the single highest score on two of the four apparatuses, floor exercise and vault, and second best score on the balance beam behind Suni Lee and uneven bars behind Jones. I was just happy to be back out there, get through those nerves again, feel that adrenaline, she said in an interview later on. I can't really complain how the first meet back was. Truly though, what is there to complain about when she just won her seventh career core hydration classic all around title? Biles scored a dominant 59.500 in all around competition and claimed the all around crown in a field of 49 senior gymnasts in Hartford. Her gold medal performance on floor exercise with 14.800 and silver medal winning uneven bars with 14.550 and balance beam 14.550 routines helped solidify her all-around title. She also posted the highest score of the night on vault with 15.600. She is hoping for a spot on the U.S. gymnastics women's team next. 
When asked whether or not she will be a part of Paris in a Today interview, she said, I would say that's the path I would love to go, so I wouldn't mind if you put it in the yay section. At present, Biles is preparing for the U.S. Olympic trials, which will determine her spot on the U.S. Olympic team. It is set to happen from the 27th to the 30th of June at the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Her preparation included bringing a bit of French flair to her routines with the help of Gregory Milan. Have I mentioned that Milan is known for his work with the French women's gymnastics team? Well, he is. Many are convinced that this collaboration is a perfect match. Milan isn't just a background figure, he's right there in the thick of it, often seen in training sessions with Landy's other athletes. In December 2023, Simone gave her Instagram followers a sneak peek into this dynamic partnership. She shared a video of her unique floor routine, humorously captioned, no one asked, but this is how the floor routine is going, bursting into laughter. Simone was all smiles and clearly having a blast during the session. <laughs> As you saw, Simone posted the video again in an Instagram story to greet the French choreographer on his birthday last May. It was captioned, Happy birthday, Gregito Milan. You are the best. Just by watching the clip, it is quite evident that their chemistry was infectious. In an exclusive interview with Essentially Sports, Gregory did a deep dive about working with Biles, saying, Simone is a bit crazy too. She's like a grasshopper. She has dynamism. She has energy. But it's incredible. Milan, who once described gymnastics as very staccato, very rough movements, with a sense of geometry, has made a name for himself by infusing these rigid routines with his own flair and creativity. This unique approach is precisely why he enjoys working with Simone. So I liked working with Simone because I like this temperament, he told Essentially Sports. In an Instagram post, he even shared a hilarious photo of them together with the caption, Thank you, Simone. I finally have hair. Despite his roots not being in gymnastics, Having Gregory by her side can completely uplift Simone's mood. Simone herself revealed this, sharing another birthday greeting via Instagram story for Milan. This time, it was captioned, Your energy is electric. Everyone needs a Gregito in their life. We always have the best time. It was accompanied by yet another video of them having fun while training. <laughs> Their bond has only grown stronger as the Paris Olympics approaches. It's clear that Simone's innate skills aren't the only things Gregory, an acclaimed international dancer and graduate of the Opera de Para, admires about the gymnastics goat. Reflecting on his experience working with Biles, Milan emphasized her remarkable growth and evolution as an athlete. Fueled by her relentless pursuit of perfection, Simone Biles wants the Olympics gold badly. Milan remarked, echoing the sentiments of millions of fans who eagerly await her next triumph. Commenting on her future, the renowned choreographer said, If it were up to me, I find her so much stronger in her head now that I say she should continue. As speculation about Simone's retirement continues to mount, her coach, Cecile Landi, also weighed in on the topic of retirement, hinting at the possibility of Biles extending her illustrious career due to her incredible form. I'm lucky to be with her every day. Anyhow, as the days to Paris are coming close, the levels of excitement are shooting through the roof. But Simone being Simone, fans are confident that she will indeed end up competing in Paris. Watch this to see who else is trying for a spot in the team going to Paris.